Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Double headline today, Hungary triples gold reserves and Hecla mining increases silver production. Let's explore. <laughs> I think those two headlines give us a little bit of a hint as to what's going on in the world of precious metals. There's a lot of changes taking place, and it looks like these central banks are starting to see the writing on the wall even more so than ever when you have a nation uh, trying to accumulate much more gold than they have in the past. And when you see great demand out there for silver, and uh, that there's the mines are trying to find as much of it as they can, and they are producing more. So let's take a look here on Kitco. Here it is, the central banks on gold buying spree again. Hungary triples gold reserves. If you like what you see with the news uh, that I bring to you, I would encourage you to hit the notification bell so that you can be apprised of the latest uh, video that may have breaking news on it or news like this. And also, if you would hit that thumb up button, that would help to maybe get the algorithms to recognize and get the video out there. Appreciate everyone taking the time to watch. So after a pause in central bank gold buying last year, there are signs of new activity in the space as Hungary tripled its gold reserves. Hungary's central bank raised its gold reserves to 94.5 metric tons from 31.5 tons, citing long-term national and economic policy strategy objectives. For sure, we know these central banks out there, they understand that gold is the truest form of money and the most stable form of money that surpasses what their nations produce or uh, as money out there, for sure, in currency. Uh, this marked one of the most significant central bank gold purchases in decades. The official announcement was made in a press release on Wednesday. I think it's big news. The Hungarian central bank continues the process. It started by increasing gold reserves by a factor of 10 in 2018. As a result, based on the size of gold reserves, Hungary moved up from the middle of the international list to the top third by March 2021. That's a pretty amazing. They really are hungry for gold in Hungary. You knew I had to use that pun. You just knew it was coming. I know it's corny and cheesy. Probably deserves a thumbs down on this video for that low-hanging fruit of a pun. The decision to triple its gold reserves was also based on the need to manage new risk arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, the central bank said. The appearance of global spikes in government debts or inflation concerns further increase the importance of gold in national strategy as a safe haven asset and as a store of value. As a result of the decision, the press release said, the central bank referred to gold as one of the most crucial reserve assets worldwide. Boom, they nailed it, that's for sure. Stating that it carries no credit or counterparty risk. Very true. Hungary's latest addition was the biggest monthly purchase since June of 2019 when Poland bought 94.9 tons, according to the World Gold Council data. The purchase comes just as the World Gold Council released a report saying that global central banks were net buyers of gold in February. Purchasers were led by India, which acquired 11.2 tons of gold. Robust central bank gold buying over the last decade has helped to keep gold prices elevated, but the record buying spree was paused in 2020 as gold rallied to new record highs and the coronavirus pandemic has shut down economies around the world. In the third quarter of 2020, central banks became net sellers as some countries chose to sell some of their gold reserves. In January and February of 2021 also saw the weakest start of the year in over a decade. With global central bank net sales totaling 16.7 tons, the Royal Gold Council said this week. However, the trend seems to be turning around quickly. In March, the Polish central bank said it would be looking into buying at least 100 tons of gold in the future, 
while Serbia continued to make steady acquisitions since 2019. Our expectation remains that central banks will be net purchasers of in 2021, with immediate outlook for central bank demand remains finally balanced, World Gold Council Senior Analyst Agrishan and Gopal said on Wednesday. Now, we have covered on this channel to some extent about, it doesn't happen too often, about some banks selling their uh, reserves. And, of course, you know how that is sold and where that gold goes into the market, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but if you flood a bunch of gold in the market, it seems like it would drive the price down. Um, but these central banks are holding on to it. And there's a lot of taking it out of circulation. It's treasured. Gold is treasured. And because of that, that is why the price is where it is and why the ratio between gold and silver is, is high. And as the recording of this video here, we are on the 8th of April, 2021. We can see the metals are up. Gold uh, over 1% and silver over almost 1.5% um, increase. All the metals here are substantially up here today. Now, Let's move on to the next headline here. Hecla Mining reports 7% silver production increase in the first quarter of 2021. Hecla Mining Company today announced that the company produced 3.5 million ounces of silver in the first quarter of 2021, an increase of 7% over the first quarter of uh, 2020 due to growing Lucky Friday production. The company's gold production was 52,004 ounces in the first quarter of 2021, a decrease of 12% compared to the first quarter of 2020 because of reducing less profitable production. Zinc and lead production increased 25% and 82% respectively due to Lucky Friday production. I don't really know what that means, Lucky Friday production, but it's uh, fascinating to see the increase. And apparently they're working through whatever COVID restrictions and stuff were, they've been able to uh, adjust accordingly if they're, some of that stuff is still in place. Greens Creek, Lucky Friday, and, and Casa Burrito all had strong operating performance, which combined with current silver prices. I guess that is the site. It's called Lucky Friday. Um, uh, enabled us to close the quarter with more than $135 million in cash, said Heckless President and CEO. Philip S. Baker, this is our fourth consecutive quarter of increasing cash balances, all attributed to free cash flow generation. Founded in 1891, Hecla Mining is the largest silver producer in the United States with operating mines in Alaska and Idaho and is a growing gold producer with an operating mine in Quebec. The company also has exploration and pre-development properties in eight world-class silver and gold mining districts in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. So that just goes to show you that there is more silver being produced. And, um, you know, this is something that many people are scared and they're saying, hey, we're running out of silver. Uh, but in, the, in one of this case, you know, they're they're going to mine it. It's becoming profitable. They are making money off of it. And, uh, and because people are buying it at very high rates. And obviously you have the silver that's going towards mining, but there's been a lot of silver bought. Uh, as bars, rounds, and coins. And I covered in yesterday's video how the rural men has run out of silver bar products to sell, but there are silver uh, coins for sale. And uh, and so this fabrication, I think, is going to uh, increase that supply, and um, it's going to keep coming. There's going to be an ever-ending cycle. Sooner or later, these bottlenecks will probably widen a bit, and we'll see more flow as there is uh, more production and manufacturing and mining is opened up when the economy opens up. We'll see how this all plays out. It is interesting to see, um, but uh, we'll find out how this plays out. It's exciting to see the great demand. It's exciting to see new stackers join uh, the uh, world of precious metals and understanding. Hopefully they will learn and understand what these metals are about and their purpose. We'll find out, but nonetheless, there is an increase of silver production by Hecla and a decrease in gold production, uh, which does, uh, in a way does not bode well for that ratio. Let's see what the ratio is now between gold and silver. Something I kind of like to take a look at. It has shrunk a little bit, 68.98 right now. It's been hovering at 69 for a while, but there it is. 
So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about this news here. Central Bank, Hungary tripling its gold reserves, and Hecla mining, 7% silver production increase in the first quarter of 2021. More silver products out there for us. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, hit that notification bell, share, comment, and after all of that rigmarole, hey, you might as well subscribe.